gonna be looking at the Aku Tribute 2s today. I've had the Aku Tribute 2s now for oh, nearly a year, getting on a year, and I think I've really put them through the paces. Uh, as you can see from the footage, I've taken them on cross-country walks, moors walks. We bagged a few Munros in Glencoe, not too many miles from here. And the other thing we've also done is a lightweight walk. One of the primary reasons I got them was to do lightweight walk with, in fact. What are they? They are a kind of lightweight Moors boot. You can kind of push it up into the mountains a little bit as well, but that's not particularly what they're aimed for. They're semi-stiffened on the sole unit. They've got a fairly open, nice lug for soft ground, muddy ground, that kind of thing. I was surprised, as you can see from the footage, in the Glencoe area where we did the Munros, how good they got on with the rock. That's partly down to the rubber use. It's also partly down to the fact that the, they are a little bit softer than, than we'd expect in a mountain boot. So whether they don't edge as well, they do tend to mould to the sharper bits of rock, the sticky out bits, so it gives you that extra grip. Got a, a good thick wedge of EVA underneath, and that gives you a really comfortable, bouncy footbed that takes a lot of the, 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 the hardness out of any kind of longer distance walking. A little bit more ankle support than I was expecting, actually, in the, in the class of boot. Uh, on the mountain sides, I, you know, I went over a few times. Obviously, I was using the poles, but even so, they did, did support my ankle a little bit more than I've expected to. And, and certain of the boots that are aimed at that kind of level of walking don't give that kind of level of support. Find the footbed nice as well, and it just fits my foot. But again, really important where boots are concerned fit is very individual just because they fit my foot i find them comfortable doesn't mean that everybody else will it's one of them things all footwear you really got to try it on before you buy it we've got a wonderful italian leather outer very few seams there's one or two seams there but very few seams the great Aku construction they have their own factories in italy they're italian made when a boot manufacturer makes its own boots to me that's a real key to the success of the the manufacturing process they have got an investment in those factories keep an eye on them and they are producing the the good stuff that their name is dependent upon always choose your boot to do the job you're most likely going to do these boots you can push into the mountains in a very limited manner with poles specifically i would say you can get away with quite a bit what they're really aimed at is more easier pastoral walking, moors walking, cross country walking and for what I bought them for, long distance walking. On a lightweight walk they really do come into their own. So here we are at the end, uh, 40 miles, just under 2,000 metres ascent. Done really well. They caught with all the terrains that we walked across the mud, the cross country sections, the path sections and after 40 miles I never actually had the blister. Yeah for sure I had a few sore points but no blisters, I expected blisters. That to me was the key test. And that's really what they're for. They, they excel at nice paths like this one in Glen Nevis, that kind of environment. On the moors as well, cross country walking. Again, a really good boot, that leather construction, looking after the Gore-Tex membrane. So all in all, excellent product. I do thoroughly recommend them. I think you've got to own a pair of boots and walk a good few miles in them before you really get to understand them. And where these boots are concerned, they are a really well constructed lower level walking boot and they've proved their worth and I think I'll get a good number of years out of them yet. Anyway, we've got a little bit more of this trail to do, just an easy day, so uh, we'll get on with it. <laughs>